Hey guys, welcome back for another Full Joy Mom video. In this video, we are gonna discuss three things that could potentially be holding you back from developing some awesome healthy habits and routines. So stay tuned. Well, if you are new here, my name is Dawn Marie and I am the happy, blessed, full joy mom of four kids that I had in five years. Boom, boom, boom. They boom. <laughs> They are currently uh, ages seven, five, four, and three. And mom life feels crazy trying to get healthy habits going. Like, oh my goodness, you will feel like you've got some sort of routine or habit and then a mom life explosion happens and you have to start back over again. So as I have continued to persevere in this mom life, I have learned that there are a few things that um, can hold me back from developing those healthy habits. And if you can overcome those obstacles, um, then you're that much closer to getting those healthy routines going. So thing number one is guilt. Oh my goodness, uh, I hate guilt, guilt, I hate guilt, it's terrible. It is such a thief, literally. Guilt will rob you of so much in your life. If you are ever feeling guilty about something, that is a phenomenal um, checkpoint for you to be like, wait a minute, time out, what am I thinking about? Because I, as a believer, as a child of God, am not supposed to operate out of guilt, shame, or condemnation. I have the Holy Spirit. He lives on the inside of me. He gently, lovingly, sometimes strongly lovingly, convicts me when I am wrong, but I do not operate out of guilt. So if you can overcome the hurdle of feeling guilty because of your bad habits, feeling guilty because of your failed habits, feeling guilty because you didn't start the, the new habit, or feeling guilty because you had the habit going and then you stopped, like get rid of that guilt. If you can forgive yourself, forgive other people, forgive your children for you know maybe interfering with your healthy routines, whatever, um, if you can walk in forgiveness and get rid of that guilty feeling, that will bring you so much closer to your healthy habit or routine. The second thing that could be holding you back is not being successful at failing. You need to learn how to fail forward. That means when you fall down, you get back up and you recognize what you need to learn from the failure. You know, maybe it's something as simple as like, you're trying to learn to take vitamins every day and you keep forgetting because the and you keep failing at that, right? So you're trying to take vitamins every day and you keep failing at that. You need to look at that situation and figure out why you're failing. Go back to number one, don't let guilt operate in your failure. Learn how to fail forward. Figure out what can I learn from this failure? How can this failure get me for, you know, get me further to my successful habit or routine? So for me, if I am trying to take vitamins and I have them sitting out on the counter um, in a certain spot and I'm thinking like that's really gonna help me and I'm forgetting, I'm failing on this new routine, then I need to come up with something different. I need to look at my failure and I need to cause it to push me forward. Forwards. I need to fail forward. So now I need to go, okay, this is not working. What should I change? Okay, instead of having them over here on this shelf, I'm gonna put a timer on my phone or I'm gonna associate them with eating breakfast or I'm gonna put them on the, the sink counter next to my water, like whatever it is that you need to change. Analyze your failure. Don't get caught and stuck in that guilt and allow failure to pull you back. Make your failure push you forwards. Fail forwards. And the third thing that can get in the way of healthy habits is actually your thought life, your mind. If you are trying to start a new healthy habit of exercising three times a week or every day or whatever you've made your goal to be, and your mind has not been renewed, that you can actually be successful, um, then you're not going to do it. Like you're just going to get to that failure, right? Right? and you're not gonna fail forwards, you're gonna fall back, um, and you're gonna get stuck in guilt, and you're not going to have the, the willpower and the strong mind to get up and do it again. So you need to 
think about what you're thinking about. Your frontal lobe of your brain with the ability to literally think about what you are thinking about. What are you thinking about your new healthy habit or routine? Are you thinking thoughts of success? Are you thinking thoughts that, you know, God wants to make you victorious in all things and he's made you a conqueror and you're an overcomer? Like, are you thinking thoughts like that? Or are you thinking thoughts like, I'm never gonna get the hang of this. I'm never gonna wake up before my kids. I'm never gonna remember to take my vitamins. I might as well, are you having failure thoughts? I might as well just quit because I'm never gonna make it. I'm never gonna do this. Or are you letting your thoughts push you forwards closer to your successful habit and routine. I know I didn't do it today, but that's okay. Tomorrow is a new day. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Or I know I only worked out for five minutes and I wanted it to be 25 minutes, but that's okay. I'm that much closer to my goal. You know, maybe you need to sit down and make up a goal and have a specific thought or confession that you are going to intentionally speak out over that healthy habit, goal, or routine so that you can be putting in the work to renew your mind. Your mind is so powerful. And if you're going to bed at night thinking, there's no way I'm actually gonna wake up before my kids, there's no way I'm gonna actually run this mile, um, then you are gonna stop yourself. Your brain, your mind, your thoughts are so powerful that the Bible actually says, as a man thinks, so is he. So take a look at what you're thinking about your healthy habits and routines and get a new renewed mind. So I hope this quick video gave you some good things to think about to get you that much closer to your healthy habits, your healthy routines, your goals, your future that God has called you to. If you are new, be sure to click that subscribe button, like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, be sure to put a comment below. I would love to get back to you and connect with you. Be sure to click that bell to turn the notifications on so you can see every time a new video for Full Joy Mom is uploaded. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you next time.